welcome to Cine Monica. Dear Diary, I have a secret, and I trust you won't tell anyone because it might make me the laugh of the town. I recently watched a film that I thoroughly enjoyed. No, it wasn't nominated for the Academy Awards. It currently has a 53% of Rotten Tomatoes, oh god. But I liked it. What does that say about me? Am I basic? We all have movies that we secretly love, whether it's because we grew up with them or because we simply don't care if a movie has good or bad reviews as long as we enjoy it. A lot of people though seem to be really concerned with what's popular and deem it overrated. Okay, let's do an experiment right now. When someone asks you what's your favorite movie, what do you always say? Do you say something that will make you seem interesting? Do you say a safe answer that you know people won't think that you're basic? Now actually think about what your favorite movie is. Or at least think of a movie that you just love but never really admit it to anyone. My favorite movie is Spirited Away. It is considered a cinematic masterpiece and it's arguably the most famous Studio Ghibli movie. For people that aren't really familiar with Ghibli or with anime movies, to them it just looks like a cartoon. However, I think that most people wouldn't really judge me for that one. But I recently have discovered within myself that one of my favorite movies is actually Legally Blonde. I realized this fairly recently when I was practically rewatching it all the time because it just made me happy. Elle? Uh, I'm sorry, are you here to see me? I go here. You got into Harvard Law? What, like it's hard? If someone asked me though what my favorite movie is, I feel like I would have a more respected response from people when I say Spirit It Away than if I say Legally Blonde. And that's just lame. Could it be because Legally Blonde is considered a movie for girls and it's extremely pink and it's full of romance? Could it be because movies that are made for girls are more susceptible to be scrutinized and disregarded as bad? I mean, I'm not saying that Adam Sandler or Will Ferrell movies are considered, you know, Oscar worthy, but I feel like you get a very dis different response if you say that your favorite movie is, let's say, Talladega Nights than if you say Legally Blonde. Or if you say, for example, Twilight. Have you ever wondered what is the opposite of a chick flick? I don't know. They got no name. Is it bro films? No, they are considered cinematic masterpieces. Okay, let's look it up. Prick flick. I've never heard of that before. What's your favorite prick flick, bro? I think Twilight is the best example of how a movie was so extremely loved but also hated at the same time. The only thing that comes close to that level, I think it's Justin Bieber. When he first started, that boy got a lot of hate. But also we were all crazy about him. Okay, so Twilight was a well-loved book series. The books were so popular that they decided to turn them into movies, as they do. I remember I actually read the Twilight books on my iPod Touch. How the hell did I do that? <laughs> no wonder my eyesight sucks. I remember everyone being so excited about the movie from the casting process to the filming to finally releasing it. It was chaos. Everyone in my school was talking about it. I even went four times to see the first Twilight to the theaters. And I remember I had never seen so many people screaming during a movie every time that Edward Cullen was on screen. After the first movie's success though, people started to really hate on this franchise. Like really, really hate on it. It was the punchline of so many internet memes and jokes. Kristen Stewart, who is now a respected actress, was made fun of endlessly for her acting. Robert Pattinson, who is also a respected actor now and freaking Batman, he was the punchline of so many jokes. For me, a teenage girl who loved Twilight but also didn't want to be seen as lame, it was kind of hard to go from absolutely loving it to pretend I hated it. And look, you absolutely should not care what other people think. You should be able to enjoy the things that you enjoy without worrying what other people might say. And let's be real, that's a really hard thing to do for a 14 year old girl. Everyone was making fun of Twilight and I didn't want to be made fun of so I pretended that I hated Twilight too. I was a pick me girl who didn't actually get picked for anything, for anyone. So didn't really work. Why did I even try to seem cool? Now that I have grown up, I realized that that was silly of me and that's why I just try to not care anymore. Why is it that people make fun of others for what they like to watch? If you like the new Star Wars movies, don't hide it. It's your life, it's your eyes, it's your time. Just hide yourself. 
hide yourself, run away. Don't share that. Don't share it with the world. No. Yes. No. If you want to spend your time watching something that you enjoy, I mean, why not? Because Mark over there bases his opinions on Rotten Tomato ratings? I think not. It's like that scene in the office where Jim asks his co workers about what movies would they bring to a deserted island. Meredith mentions Legally Blonde, and Pam agrees with her that she actually likes that movie. Jim then tells Pam that she needs to think about these choices very carefully, so she takes it back. At the end of the episode, Katie joins the game and says Legally Blonde. Jim and Pam laugh at her behind her back, basically judging her because of her choice of movie. Jim thinks it's stupid to pick such a girly movie. Pam, who has a huge crush on Jim, wants him to think highly of her, so she changes her mind and then they both proceed to make fun of Katie for liking said movie. Another reason people might hate unpopular movies is because of this desire of wanting to be special or different. Some people, a lot of people, want to be seen as smarter than the rest of the masses. They don't want to be put in a box with other people. So even though they might like a film at first, when this one starts to get recognition and popularity, they backtrack and even turn on the film. It's that I'm not like other people mentality. Having graduated from film school and being in the movie space, has made me encounter a lot of people like this. They think that because they like art house cinema or German expressionist films, they are automatically on a different intelligence level than a person who might enjoy a Marvel movie or two. And look, it's fine to like whatever you like, if it's French New Wave or if it's 70s horror, you to you. And it's fine to dislike movies even if they're popular. But you have to ask yourself, why do you dislike something? Is it because everyone is talking about it and it's a huge popular movie? Or is it because you genuinely didn't enjoy it? Recently, I watched Marry Me starring Jennifer Lopez, Owen Wilson, and Maluma. Just saying those names together is so random, like I genuinely think they picked names out of a hat for this movie. But basically, it's a movie where a famous pop star marries a guy from the crowd at one of her concerts, totally random encounter, and they end up falling in love. <laughs> He's a simple man, she's a huge celebrity, boom, love. A lot of people might cringe at the premise, but I have to say that I actually enjoyed it. It's not a cinematic masterpiece. It will never win any awards, and that's okay. <laughs> the fact of the matter is that I had a good time when I watched it. I've been going through a lot, as some of you guys may know, and this movie just made me really happy for about two hours. Thank you, JLo. So I say, watch whatever you want. Sometimes you might be in the mood of watching a psychological thriller that will make you question life, and sometimes you're just in a silly, goofy mood and want to watch a romantic comedy full of bad jokes and a happy ending. Hello, editing Monica here. Um, I wanted to add something to the video because I asked this question on my Discord group, The Little Film Club. I asked, why do you think people dislike popular movies? So I wanted to share. People like to think of themselves as higher than the general public. I think this happens with everything. If it's movies, if it's books, if it's social media, if it's anything that is popular, there's gonna be a whole bunch of people who will just hate on that thing because they don't want to be part of the most common denominator. An urge to be unique and original to differentiate themselves from normie mainstream opinion. Most of the time, I think people just feel like they will be special if they hate on some movie. 9 out of 10 times they don't have a good argument on why they actually dislike the movie. That's very true, and actually a lot of people hate on movies even if they haven't seen them. Especially with like Marvel movies, for example. Batman is in my Discord group, I did not know that, but Batman said, this one happens a lot with the MCU. And actually, I asked on my Instagram story what movie is overrated, and lo and behold, most people said superhero movies, Marvel movies, Avengers, anything that had to do with Marvel. That was the most common response. You really have to think, are they saying that because they genuinely dislike those movies? They actually went to the theater and they said, no, I, I hate this movie, this is so bad. Which, you know, it's totally valid. Or are they saying that because they are the most popular movies on earth? I don't know. What do you guys think? Why do you think some people dislike popular movies? And also, what are some movies that you genuinely enjoy but people might judge you for it, but you just don't care? Please let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, this little rant. Let me know if you would like more videos like this. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.